everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm jules i love to create beauty content here on this platform today i have a pretty good sized unboxing i recently placed my order for the spring savings event sale and got everything in so i'm going to be unboxing everything and revealing everything that i picked up from the sale so if you're interested in seeing what all i picked up go ahead and keep on watching before I get into the unboxing, Sephora usually has a pretty good size sale twice a year. One is in the spring and one is in the fall. Hopefully my video will be going up for the last day of the sale. So if there's anything here that catches your eye, you can go ahead and pick up the item with that discount. So Rouge did start on April the 14th. VIB members started on the 18th with 15% off and Insiders started on the 18th as well with 10% off. So every tier is going to get some savings. Rouge does get 20% off, and then all of these Sephora brand items are 30% off, which is a great deal. I didn't pick up anything from the Sephora brand this go round, but that is a pretty good size savings if you're wanting to pick up something from that line. Okay, let's get into all of the items that I picked up. I am just gonna grab these as I see them. So first off, I have a few items that I picked up from Sunday Riley. I recently started using their Luna Sleeping Night Oil and the Good Jeans Lactic Acid Formula for my nighttime routine. I've been doing the skin cycling, which entails going in with that lactic acid, which is an exfoliating type of treatment that you don't have to wash off. It just sits on your skin overnight. And then the next night I will follow through with my night oil from Sunday Riley and then my regular moisturizers for the following two days. And then I continue the cycle over and over again. So first off, I have the sleeping night oil. And this one is the one that is blue. I love the packaging on this. It just kind of lifts off of there. And then here is the bottle for the sleeping night oil. This actually has a retinoid in it, I believe. It's a retinol. So it is a blue tansy retinol oil. I don't know if you can see it here on the camera, but it is actually a blue oil. There it is right there. So um, the benefit of the oil being blue is that as you smooth it into the skin and it disappears, that's when you know that it's penetrated into the skin. If it's still blue, you need to continue to smooth it in until it's disappeared. So I like that feature of the oil. This is a pretty lightweight oil. I don't feel like it's real heavy, but it does have that retinol in it for um, anti-aging benefits such as the wrinkles and fine lines and smoothing of the skin, all of the benefits that I'm definitely looking for in my routine at this point. So it's something that's supposed to work through the night to deliver youthful looking, luminous, even toned skin in the morning. Retinol also reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the visible signs of premature aging like fine lines, uneven texture, age spots, dryness, and dullness. So I have been using the mini size of this one and the lactic acid for a little while. I purchased it twice, the mini size. And so since I like it so much, I went ahead and took this opportunity to buy the fuller sized products so I can continue to incorporate them into my skincare routine. So I'm really excited that I was able to pick this up and get a little bit of a discount on it. Next up, I picked up this two pack from Sunday Riley, which, which is the Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment that I was telling you about. This I thought was a really good deal because you got two full-size products for a better price than if you were to buy two of these separately. So these are one fluid ounces a piece. So you get the two fluid ounces with both of the products. Um, this is a lactic acid licorice root. It's said to deeply exfoliate the dull surface of the skin for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. Visibly brightens the appearance of dark spots and discolorations, and it instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles in three minutes. I didn't know that. So anyway, this also comes in nice packaging where you just kind of pull the top off there, and then here is 
the full size. I like that these are both in pump forms where you can just pump it out, but that is what that product looks like. I love both of these. I've been using it for probably about four to six months if I had to guess. Those little minis go a long way. So I'm really excited for these fuller sized containers so I can continue using these in my skincare routine. Next up is another skincare item. This is by Paula's Choice. It is the C15 Super Booster. It is 15% vitamin C with vitamin E and ferulic acid. It's said to brighten tone for a radiant complexion. I specifically got this because one of my subscribers recommended this for me. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I use a color corrector in this area because I have a little bit of uh, a darker pigmentation in that area that foundation doesn't typically cover. So I will go in with a red toned color corrector to offset that grayness so it doesn't come through underneath my foundation or through my foundation. So she recommended this to me so that I could eliminate the step in my routine where I do color correct. She says that she used to have to color correct and she started using this product and it eliminated that darkness around her mouth. So I'm really excited to try this out and see if I can eliminate that step in my makeup routine. I will go ahead and open this up so you can see what the packaging looks like. So here is the product right here. It is 20 milliliters or 0.67 fluid ounces. And it does come with a little dropper right there, which will be convenient to use. So the directions on this says to use once or twice daily, apply to the face and neck, maybe used alone or added to your favorite moisturizer or serum. For daytime, always follow with sunscreen. So I'm so excited to try this and thank you to the subscriber who recommended this for me to try. I have a lot of skincare here and not as much makeup. I think it's because I always buy the latest releases in makeup and so skincare is not something that I will readily purchase if Sephora is not in a sale event. So next is by Ula Henriksen. This is the Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick. Here's the packaging. I've been hearing a lot of people rave about this for under the eye area. I picked mine up in the shade Apricot. So here is what the tube looks like. And I believe, let me see, is this a screw off? Maybe it is. Okay, it's a twist off. So there's what it looks like. I'll go ahead and swatch this on my skin. Okay, that melts into the skin really nicely. I'm really excited to use this under my eyes. Apparently you can use this alone if you're not gonna be wearing makeup and you wanna add a little brightness to that under eye area. And you can also use this under your concealer. So I'm really excited about using this. So many people have raved about how great it is. Next up, I was so excited about this new release from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Rio Radiance Cream. This is a special edition cream that has the Charosa 87 fragrance. So this is a body glow with hydrating squalane. So this is supposed to glow, hydrate, and it also has that nostalgic scent. So I did pick up the big one in the 8.1 fluid ounce jar. So pretty, I love this. I love the colors on there. Open this up. Comes with this little protector top. And there it is. Oh, that smells so good. Let me take a little bit of it and apply it to my skin so you can see 
It doesn't smell like the um, the perfume that I'm thinking of that I picked up last year, maybe. Smells like something familiar, but I can't put my finger on what that smells like. I don't see um, like a glittery type of glow, but there's definitely a glow on the skin. And I like that it has um, those benefits of firming. So it says the nostalgic scent is of summer skin and warm beach sand. Um, I don't see where it's firming. I could have sworn I saw somewhere that it's supposed to firm your skin. I thought that's why I picked it up. So no firming. I looked on the uh, website to see if it did have a firming um, property to it, but it doesn't. It's supposed to make your skin glow and it's supposed to moisturize your skin as well. So. Um, we'll see. I'm going to try it out. I was really, um, I don't know why I thought it was firming. So definitely we'll be trying that out with the upcoming summer months being in full swing before we know it. And I will let you know what my thoughts are on this after using it for a little while. Okay, now moving on to the makeup. I didn't pick up a whole lot this go round, but I will show you what I picked up. First off, I picked up the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. I needed a new eye primer and this is one that I think someone may have recommended or I saw good reviews on it. So here is what the tube looks like and swatch a little bit for you. So it looks like it disappears right into the skin and I can feel where it's a little tacky. So I will definitely be using that to see how that works for me. And then for foundation, this is one that I wanted to try by Guerlain. This is the Terracotta Healthy Glow Natural Perfection Foundation. It's 24 hour wear and no transfer. I picked up the shade 5W. It's so hard to match online as you all know but I gave this one a shot. It has a pump and it is a glass bottle. Let me give this a good shake so we can swatch it. Mm, I don't know, that looks a little orange. Maybe not. That's what it looks like smoothed out there on my hand. Looks like it has some good coverage to it and it has a little bit of luminescence to it. So I'm excited to try that. And to go with that, I picked up the highlighter. This is the Terracotta Luminizer. It is the it's called the Shimmering Powder. This looks so pretty on Sephora's app. Here's the packaging. I've never had anything from Guerlain. I'm trying to think back. I always tried to get this one bronzer from Guerlain a few years back and they stopped making that darker shade that I wanted to try. So uh, I think I've tried a bronzer before but it wasn't deep enough for me. There is the highlighter. Look how pretty that is. Let's swatch it. There were only two shades in this one. The other one looked a little cooler toned. That looks like it's gonna be so pretty and not super intense, you know? It looks like a really pretty glow.
excited to try that and then i believe the last item in here i think i know what this is Yes, the Natasha Denona Dream Palette. This is such a pretty palette. I've had my eyes on it for a little while. Honestly, I don't need any more eyeshadows. I've got so many. But this one looked like one that was unique to the other ones that I already have in my collection. I love the packaging on this. It's like this, um, it's like a matte texture. It feels so good to the touch. And then here we are. I definitely have shades that are similar to a lot of these. Um, I have the Melt Cosmetics palette. It's called She's in Parties. That's kind of similar to this one, but that one is a little bit more grungy, whereas this one looks a little bit more romantic to me. And so, yeah, so that is what made me pick this one up. So I'm excited to try this one. I just felt like I would get a lot of good use out of this spring going into summer and then definitely in the fall as well. I feel like I can create looks for all of those seasons with this palette. I think there was one of those shifting shades in here. Yes, it's called Vision. Let me swatch this one. Looks similar to maybe one of the Danessa Myrick shades that I've tried in the past. That's so pretty. So that one really caught my eye. And then Instinct. This one is really pretty. Such a pretty um, burgundy shade. Has a little bit of a shimmer to it as well. And then Edgy. There's edgy. That one looks a little bit darker, more of a deep wine shade. But yes, I'm excited for this. I feel like I needed some inspiration in my makeup game, so that palette seemed like it would be perfect to create some fun new looks. And that brings my unboxing to a close. That was all that I picked up. It doesn't seem like it was a lot, but that was quite expensive just for that little amount. The skincare can get so expensive. Anyway, I'm so excited to try out a lot of these products for you and give you my honest thoughts on these. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out any of these reviews that will be upcoming very soon. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the products that I picked up. And also I'm interested to know what you picked up at the sale. Maybe there's something I missed. So make sure and leave me a comment down below. Also, if you're interested in knowing what all I use to create today's look, be sure and check out my description box below. I usually have all of the makeup that I use listed down below with links for your convenience. I do get a small commission on those links. Every little bit helps over here on my channel. I hope you enjoyed and as always, I love you guys. Be blessed and I will see you in the very next one. Bye.